Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Vanessa, and today I have a haul for you guys. This is just stuff that I've collected over the last few weeks, um, stuff that I wanted to try out, some repurchases. Just make sure to uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like hauls, and make sure to subscribe so that that way um, you guys can see more videos that I do. All right, so let's just jump into this haul. So the first two products that I have for you guys are from Jeffree Star. Um, so I got the Androgyny palette, which comes in this cute packaging, and I also got Celebrity Skin. So this is what they look like in the packaging, and let's open it up. I was so excited for this palette, I'm not going to lie, just because, look at this. Pink is my favorite color, and do you guys see how pink this packaging is? It's so nice. Um, and the colors inside are beautiful. Mine actually came broken, um, so Dominatrix is cracked right here as you can see um, but their customer service is so good one of the best customer service I've ever had to deal with so don't be afraid that if anything comes messed up they will handle it they will fix it just send them an email let them know what the issue is and they'll either refund you or send you a new product which is super awesome um, so this is what the colors look like and I mean it's super pigmented I'm sure you guys have already seen like reviews on it like, look at that. That is so pigmented. I'm so excited. And this is just with one swipe. Look at how pigmented that color is. Girl, Jeffree Star killed it with this. I'm so excited to get to play with this. Um, if you guys want a tutorial, let me know down below. Um, but yeah, this is super fun. And the colors whew, were just so perfect for spring. Um, so this is what Celebrity Skin looks like. I really wanted a lipstick just because, like I said, all their packaging is pink. And I am obsessed with pink. I love pink. Pink is my favorite color. So I also wanted to get a lipstick just because the packaging is so cute. So this is Celebrity Skin. I'm sure you guys have seen it, heard about it. And it smells just like a vanilla cupcake. And they're pigmented. They're soft. That's just two swipes across my hand. And the color is like so... If you're interested in liquid lipsticks, I definitely recommend checking out Jeffree Star. The next product is from Urban Decay and it is a Vice lipstick. This one is in Pandamanium and it's a really pretty... If I can open it... Oh, duh, Vanessa. It's a really pretty purple. As you can see, it looks just like that. I thought this would be so fun um, for festivals and different spring looks that are coming up. And that is what it swatches. So it's super pretty, super nice, creamy. Um, so looking forward to using that in the future. And then I just got um, a 24-7 Glide-On lip pencil in the same color Pandemanium. And they nice. So it's like that purple. And it matches perfectly. And this feels just so, like the name says, it glides on. It's so creamy, so soft. It's right there at the bottom. Like obsessed. So super excited to get to play with those. I also picked up the Tar TARDIS paint liner. Um, I really wanted to give this a try just because a lot of people um, have raved about it. I was looking for a new eyeliner. Um, I wanted to try something different and that's what the little end looks like. So you kind of just squeeze it out and it does come with an eyeliner brush. Um, so you're definitely getting your money's worth, it's set, it comes with the liner brush, which is super awesome because this is a, like a gel liner and it's super pigmented. I've already given this a try, which is really nice. So the next thing I picked up was the TARDIS lip paint. This one is in Get It. Um, this is what it looks like, super sleek packaging, black with a little gold. Really like that. This is what the color looks like. It is so smooth and I don't know if everybody's using this new... Doe foot applicator. Do you see how it's bent right there? A little bit. I feel like it lets you line your lips so perfect with like out a lip liner. It is such a pretty color. This is what it looks like. I feel like I have so many like different nudes <laughs> in this video, but I've just been feeling it. I've just been wanting a nude lip because I feel like. So the next thing I picked up was the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. So the reason I picked this up is because my rate, my front. Words are hard, guys. So the reason that I picked this up was because my friend, um, Rachel, recommended this. She was raving about it. I saw it on her eyes. It looks stunning. And then after that, I saw tons of tutorials where people were using it um, after. And I was like, I have to get my hands on this. So I got it in Kit and Karma. Um, it was literally sold out everywhere I went. Um, and luckily, I got this color. And it is just 
so pretty you guys like so pretty if you want to get that instagram like youtube looking eyeshadow lid that full of glitter like this is it this this thing like you literally swipe swipe and you're set and you will look instagram and youtube glitter ready you need this in your life straight up guys you need this in your life I also picked up the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. So this is what the packaging looks like. It just has the A, the holographic. Um, and then this is what is inside. It's a little book, um, a cute little triangle. It has a mirror. And then you have the four holographic shadows. These are so pretty. It reminds me of the Anastasia um, Moonchild palette. It's such a fun palette. They're super pigmented, soft, creamy. I love Kat Von D, so, girl, you knew I had to get my hands on this. Um, so I was super excited to get that. And look at, look at how pigmented, can you guys see? Like, oh my god. I'm so excited to get a play around with these. I mean, these of course are not, I mean, you could everyday wear. But I just love the way one's like purple, it looks pink and green and blue. So these are super fun, especially for festival season. For the springtime, summer, I feel like you can get away with doing a lot more crazy things. So definitely looking forward to using that. And you can even use them as eyeshadows, which is super exciting. I love products that have like multi-usage, which I mean, all makeup pretty much you can use any way you want. So from the drugstore, I picked up, picked up, I picked up the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I have been meaning to get my hands on this, but they never have my color. Um, so I ended up getting 202 and 203. Um, and I mixed these together to make like the perfect shade because one's like too light and one's too dark. So I'm like right in between. Hi L'Oreal. Make a color in between these two. Um, so I just mixed these two together to make my perfect color. These are so nice. Like I am the type of person that I say something that's going on the base of your face like I rather spend money and go to Sephora and buy a higher end foundation just because my skin is so important to me and like that's your base so I think that it's really important to get that but I literally tried these you guys and they're so good the finish on them oh luster Lux, Katie she was so right she I got these because she swore by it she kept using it till this day still uses it she swears by it love it so Get your hands on this. If you've been skeptical to try it, try it. Try it. It will change your life. So the next two, or one's a repurchase, and then one um, I wanted to try. So these are the NYX Butter Glosses. So these, I feel like everybody's heard about these. Everybody uses these. So I got this one in Fortune Cookie and this one in Tiramisu. Um, just two kind of nudie. One's like a nudie nude and one's a brown pinky nude. Um, I just wanted to get these just because these are staple lip glosses. These are so nice. If you don't know what butter gloss is, you've clearly been living under a rock. The next butter glosses are bomb, so I got these two. So the next product is from Ofra. This is the Blush Bronzer Illuminating Blush Stripes. So this is so pretty. So this is super pigmented, super beautiful. I'm just going to go on ahead and dip my fingers in there. And just do the swipe. Like, can you see that? Dude, I feel like all cosmetic companies like all brands have been on their game when it comes to highlighters like highlight oh girl do you see this I feel like by the end of this I've bought so many highlighters you're gonna be able to see me from outer space you will I was in Vegas this last weekend and I went by the Mac Pro store because Mac is like an oldie I know a lot of people are like oh Mac it doesn't really have that much of amazing things but Mac is like what I grew up on like Mac was the first makeup that I walked in and all the makeup artists just their face was beat their eyeshadow was so on point colorful I just thought it was the most amazing thing um so and I had not bought an eyeshadow since their eyeshadows went down to six dollars so I went on ahead and picked up so we're gonna be talking about the bottom row natural neutral shades like Everybody and anybody that, you know, wore MAC, these were the shades you need. So if you're into having some really nice transition colors, highlights, I am going to say that these two I was kind of disappointed about because they do not have pigmentation. Like, they go on so patchy, and I swiped them. I'm going to insert here the swatches that I did on my hand, and the last two look so patchy. Very disappointing. 
but the rest of them look so nice, so good, um, worth it. So I don't know if it was maybe that I just got a bad batch of these, the last two dark colors or what, but it's okay. The rest of them worked lovely, and I mean, to put these just to darken up the outer corner, I think it should be fine. It'll just take a little extra blending, but that's okay. Um, and then the top pot of this palette, these all came from Morphe. So these are their, I want to say like two, three dollar eyeshadows. So I wanted to give these a try because I've seen people talk about them and I was like two, three dollars for an eyeshadow. Like, hello, how can you go wrong? Um, so I just picked an assortment of different colors. So it kind of has brownies. We got some greens, some purples, pink and an orange. Um, and they feel really nice on the skin. They feel really nice. They do have a bit of fallout, but I mean, they are pigmented, which is nice. Um, so you can see them here. That's not a very good swatch, but you can see them here. They are pigmented. They do have a little bit of fallout, but I mean, as long as you do your eyeshadow before your foundation, that shouldn't be a problem. And I mean, how can you go wrong for two, three dollar eyeshadows? Like, I was, I was kind of impressed. I'm not going to lie, especially since the MAC one are six dollars and these two did not work like all of these work like I do not have an issue with any one of these and these two did not work and were super patchy like I would much prefer to use one of these two which look very similar to these up here um versus this that I spent six dollar on so if you are on a budget definitely go check out the Morphe press shadows out I almost forgot so I also went on ahead and picked up two blushes from MAC um, one is, this one's in Melba, and then this one's in Peaches. So that completes the haul. Let me know down below what products you guys have been trying and loving. Um, and if you guys have any video suggestions or anything like that, let me know. Till next time, bye.